Hey guys, how's it going? It's X666X Iron Maiden, and today we're finally back with some more band made with their song Afterlife. Alright, this is another group that we haven't seen on the channel in a long time. Again, uh, for those of you that were unaware, uh, I was gone for quite a while because I was having a child. Uh, and then COVID happened. So now that we're back, I'd like to check these guys out again because I know that they've still been uh, as impressive as they were the last time I checked them out, probably like two years ago now. Um, and this song just came out, uh, what, five days ago? January 26th. Uh, it's off their album that just uh, released on January 20th called Unseen World. And uh, let's get into it, man. I, I know I enjoyed this band a lot when I checked them out before. I, I I have a certain expectation that I'm expecting and I, I have a feeling that it's it's gonna be quite enjoyable. Okay, first off, okay, this actually, the, the, the closed captions, if I can say it worked. Um, that's my bad for not thinking about that in the start. It's probably from being away for so long and didn't even think about it. Uh, and then I'll know what's going on lyrically as well. Um, so far, instrumentally, though, I gotta say, it's just exactly what I expected. They have that really nice hard rock sound, but uh, let's get the full picture here now. Sorry for the restart. Hopefully the translation is correct. If not, please let me know. I love that they use orange amps. I love the sound from an orange. Okay, I'm going to stop it there before they get back into singing again. Uh, yeah, very hard rock sound as usual. Super catchy riffs. Uh, it, and then obviously I'll have to listen, I'll have to check it out again to really get the lyrics because they go by so fast um, that uh, I can't completely catch all of them some of the time through. But that's okay because uh, it's music, you know, I can enjoy it for the music itself at the same time. So that's that's great. Um yeah, very hard rock uh, oriented, uh, and as usual, the band sounds super tight and has that very uh, nice sound that I've come uh, become used to from the few times I've heard them in the past. So, let's keep going.
Listen to that bass, man. Okay, before they go on to that, because there'll probably be a solo as well. Um, that bass, man. She, I, I can now. I remember that I brought this up before, even though it was so long ago. I can remember it because it, it came back to me when I heard that bass. She plays the hell out of that bass, man. Like her, 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 uh, her bass lines are just perfectly complex for this style of music. As in, she's not going too over the top, but it's. It's it's complex enough that it really piques my interest when I hear it, uh, and I almost didn't notice it right away because I was focusing a little bit on the lyrics and that I was trying to see what they were saying. But the lyrics ended up being about the same, so I started listening to the music even more, um, and then I heard it, uh, and I was like, oh, I remember now. I love the bass in this band because it just sounds so good. She has a really good bass tone too, um, and the drummer holds down the beat really well as well along with her so it, it's a good combination um let's continue because i do believe we're gonna jump into a solo probably still the bass Listen to it over the guitar solo as well. Why does that look really familiar to me? Nice. That was quite enjoyable. Wait a minute, I feel like I'm missing something here. Okay, hold on. I'm just checking here because I'm just curious if it was just me. Okay, so it might have been it might have been just me here, but the dance they did at the end there. Uh, why did it look a lot like it was a uh, a nod to baby metal for me? And I could be wrong. I I, I could be remembering this completely wrong. But the dance they're doing. I'll bring it back just to be very specific, and you guys can let me know. Um, let's pop this back up here, if it wants to go full screen on me. Uh, the dance they were doing right near the end there. Um, this one, have I not and have I not seen Baby Metal perform this dance live for one of their songs? And if I'm incorrect, you guys can correct me. I just could have swore that a lot of the moves were the same. So, I could have swore I've seen Baby Metal perform that that dance before live. I could be wrong. Can't remember what song even it was, which is the hardest part. <laughs> Why I can't remember. But anyway, let me know. Moving on. Uh, these girls have that hard rock sound that you're so used to hearing in North America. Like it's already very popular here. This specific hard rock sound in North America. But they add almost another little layer on top of it that I can't completely put my finger on. Either just their the technicality level they put on is slightly higher, where they're not afraid to throw in a little bit more complex, um, 
like bass lines, drum fills, stuff like that, more than what you typically see here in North America. And, by, and when I say for hard rock in North America, I mean like the popular ones, not just uh, in general all hard rock. I'm talking about the popular ones you hear on the radio that most people hear. Um, obviously, there's other hard rock bands even here in North America that uh, play, uh, you know, more complex hard rock, um, more on the progier side that you'll hear stuff like that. But I feel like I feel like they just have that that little special like extra flair because of the little bit more complexity they have in, and it comes a lot, not because I want to specifically say that it's only from the bass, from drums and bass, but they do put in a little bit of extra flair in there from those two elements, I find. Um, but the whole band together is what makes it, not just them. And it's cool. I really like it. This might, this one probably isn't going to be my favorite song that I've heard by them. I feel like this one may be even the weakest one I've heard, just for me personally, because um, some of the other stuff I remember hearing was a, a lot cooler just for me personally, just for my, my ears. I'm not saying it's a terrible song, because I know how the internet can be. It's not a terrible song. Um, uh, but it definitely reminded me that I have to listen to the, these girls more. Way more. Because uh, they're so talented. <laughs> they're so talented, and uh, the Japanese, uh, Japanese scene as well. I have to definitely be paying attention to that again as well. Because it's kind of been... Something I haven't uh, listened to much uh, since uh, taking my hiatus from the channel. And this made me want to remedy that because, man, do I ever love uh, the Japanese rock and metal scene. It's it's always fun uh, to listen to. Always. So hopefully you guys enjoyed checking this one out. Me, If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified whenever I put out a new video. And as always, you guys have a good one. And I'll catch you later.